often when you're running white water around Yellowknife in particular, it's like a lot of like one fall and then it's slow moving water after that. But in the Nahanni, you have steep banks. You can't really get a rescue potentially for like a couple kilometers in some portions. So having those like on the water rescue skills are pretty essential. The purpose of this course is to get people prepared for a big northern expedition. Some friends and I are preparing to do a, about a 24-day trip through the Mackenzie Mountains from the Broken Skull River, which is a tributary of the Nahanni, and then out onto uh, Blackstone campgrounds right near Fort Simpson. The Broken Skull has been described to us as 110 kilometers of straight whitewater. So this is going to be a pretty big endeavor and undertaking for these guys, and they'll be guiding themselves. It's an eddy line, and what, what's going on on the eddy line? So pretty much we're trying to teach not only good paddling techniques. Nice, you and you can feel that pressure off your blade, right? But also good ethics on the river, good decision-making skills, and also group management skills. I don't want to be a liability. I want to be someone that uh, takes risk away, not adds risk. So the harder skills will be really how to ferry across a river in big currents, Beauty. how to cross over a big eddy line, yeah, but the tricky part, I guess, was like coming down and then trying to get through the eddy. We've been hitting like big uh, rivers, but also at a very high level, and that creates different obstacles and a very challenging setting for participants. So it gives them a real good chance to improve their skills. I think you hit the wave train and kind of just go like, like in that direction right? towards the river right, yeah. Yeah, and you could maybe eddy over in that little... Work your way out and find an eddy further down. It's been really fun. I really like uh, going through the big waves. And it was so nice yesterday when the, the sun came out and we were just cruising along and yeah, had a big smile on my face. It was great. I was really impressed with how everyone did today. Everyone worked really hard and tried their best and everyone's skills were actually looking pretty good. Even just like getting to go on this river today was amazing. It is a lot like the Nahani, so it was a really cool experience and I think really good practice for all of us. It was my first time like rescuing someone with a throw bag. That's the main thing I wanted to be more confident about was being able to save my friends if something were to go wrong. So it was nice to get some practice. Nice work. Nice. Very nice work. Good job. It's really nice to have like a northern based canoe company who is yeah, passionate about the NWT and passionate about getting people out there on the rivers and instructing them and teaching them how to do that. Now it's time to make our move. We're paddling, okay, give me a draw, cross draw, okay, hard paddle, give me five hard strokes. Good job, guys! It's nice coming out with a company and, a, and people that you know and trust. Dan, you know, has taken the time to give us a private training session to like specifically prepare us for our trip, which is like super great of him. He loves what he's doing and he knows how to do it properly. I mean, like looking at the setup out here, I mean, like, I'm excited, and I know I'm going to learn a lot from him and his crew. Record a little bit. Just there. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. And then we'll come back. And just pull this. Yep. Fantastic. Rescue people are not superheroes. They're people doing their job within the range of their capacity and their skill. Jack Ryan Paddle is important to the paddling scene in the NVT. They provide a wide range of courses to take. I think it's important to keep the rest of Canada and the world aware of the NWT. We have a lot to offer that a lot of people don't know about. I don't have much experience, you know, whitewater canoeing, but um, I know that by the end of this, I'm, I'm going to feel pretty comfortable to, to just eat up the Nahani. This is the biggest whitewater course we've ever ran. We have 17 paddlers for our participants and four instructors, and we're looking forward to having like the best whitewater weekend we've ever had. Great, Dom. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> Jack Pine Paddle allows paddlers like myself to gain the skills so that they can access some of the more remote and beautiful places in the Northwest Territories.